In Christian theology, kenosis Greek, kenosis, kenosis, lit. The act of emptying is the self-emptying of Jesus' own will and becoming entirely receptive to God's divine will. The word ekenosin is used in Philippians chapter 2 verse 7. Jesus made himself nothing. Phil 2 to 7 Niv or He emptied himself. Phil 2 to 7 NRSV using the verb form kenu kenu to empty. Topic: Etymology and definition. Etymology is from Greek kenu kenu to empty out. The Liddell Scott Greek English lexicon gives the following simplified definition simplified for the noun emptying, depletion, emptiness of life, e.g., vetius valens, depletion, low diet, as opposed to pleurosis fullness, e.g., Hippocrates, waning of the moon, e.g., Epicurus. New Testament usage The New Testament does not use the actual noun kenosis but the verb form kenu occurs five times ro, 414, 1 co, 117, 915, 2 co, 9 to 3, fill, 2 to 7. Of these five times it is fill 2 to 7, in which Jesus is said to have emptied himself, which is the starting point of Christian ideas of kenosis. John the Baptist displayed the attitude when he said of Jesus, He must become greater, I must become less. JN 3.30 In Christology Canonic ethic The canonic ethic is the ethic of Jesus, considered as the ethic of sacrifice. The Philippians passage urges believers to imitate Christ's self-emptying. In this interpretation, Paul was not primarily putting forth a theory about God in this passage, rather he was using God's humility exhibited in the Incarnation event as a call for Christians to be similarly subservient to others. John of the Cross In Christian theology, kenosis is the concept of the self-emptying of one's own will and becoming entirely receptive to God and the divine will. It is used both as an explanation of the Incarnation, and an indication of the nature of God's activity and will. Mystical theologian John of the Cross work, "'Dark Night of the Soul'", is a particularly lucid explanation of God's process of transforming the believer into the icon or "'likeness of Christ". <laughs> Eastern Orthodoxy The Orthodox mystical theology of the East emphasizes following the example of Christ. Kenosis is only possible through humility and presupposes that one seeks union with God. The Pustinia tradition of the Russian Orthodox Church is one major expression of this search. Kenosis is not only a Christological issue in Orthodox theology, it has moreover to do with pneumatology, namely to do with the Holy Spirit. Kenosis, relative to the human nature, denotes the continual epiclesis and self-denial of one's own human will and desire. With regard to Christ, there is a kenosis of the Son of God, a condescension and self-sacrifice for the redemption and salvation of all humanity. Humanity can also participate in God's saving work through theosis, becoming holy by grace. Therefore, in Eastern Orthodoxy, theosis never concerns becoming like God in essence or being, which is pantheism, instead, it concerns becoming united to God by grace, through his energies. Orthodox theology distinguishes between divine essence and energies. Kenosis, therefore, is a paradox and a mystery since, emptying oneself in fact fills the person with divine grace and results in union with God. Kenosis in Orthodox theology is the transcending or detaching of oneself from the world or the passions, it is a component of dispassionation. Much of the earliest debates between the Arian and Orthodox Christians were over kenosis. The need for clarification about the human and divine nature of the Christ see the hypostatic union were fought over the meaning and example that Christ set, as an example of kenosis or echinosis. Protestantism Another perspective is the idea that God is self-emptying. He poured out himself to create the cosmos and the universe, and everything within it. Therefore, it is our duty to pour out ourselves. 
This is similar to C.S. Lewis' statement in Mere Christianity that a painter pours his ideas out in his work, and yet remains quite a distinct being from his painting. <laughs> Roman Catholicism Pope Pius XII in 1951 wrote Sempiternus Rex Christus, in which he condemns a particular interpretation of Philippians in regards to the kenosis. There is another enemy of the faith of Chalcedon, widely diffused outside the fold of the Catholic religion. This is an opinion for which a rashly and falsely understood sentence of St. Paul's Epistle to the Philippians e. 7, supplies a basis and a shape. This is called the Canonic Doctrine, and according to it, they imagine that the divinity was taken away from the Word in Christ. It is a wicked invention, equally to be condemned with the Docetism opposed to it. It reduces the whole mystery of the Incarnation and Redemption to empty the bloodless imaginations. With the entire and perfect nature of man—thus grandly Saint Leo the Great, he who was true God was born, complete in his own nature, complete in ours e p. X -X -V -I -I -I, 3. Place. Live, 763. Cf. Serm, XXIII, 2. Place LVI, 201. <laughs> Unitarianism Since some forms of Unitarianism do not accept the personal pre-existence of Christ their interpretations of Phil, 2–7, and the concept of «kenosis» Christ «emptying» himself, take as a starting point that is «emptying» occurred in life, and not before birth. However, as Thomas Belsham put it, there are varying views on when in life this emptying occurred. Belsham took this to be at the crucifixion, whereas Joseph Priestley took this to be in the Garden of Gethsemane when Christ did not resist arrest. The Christadelphian Tom Barling considered that the «emptying» of Christ was a continual process which started in the earliest references to Christ's character, Luke 2 verses 40, 52, and continued through the temptations of Christ in his ministry. Gnosticism The equivalent to kenosis in Gnostic literature is Christ's withdrawal of his own luminosity into himself, so as to cease dazzling his own disciples. At the request of his disciples, "...Jesus drew to himself the glory of his light." There are parallels to this voluntary withdrawal of the incarnate deity's light in the literatures of other religions also, such as in Taoism, where when the incarnate deity Crane Boy came to the world of humans in his incarnation as Han Shangzi, he concealed his auspicious light, left the underworld, and returned to the world of humans". See also References External links Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Kenosis. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Works related to the Tome of St. Leo at Wikisource George Ellis Interview, from NPR Kenosis.info, Anti-Kenosis Essays Dan Music <laughs>